KC's Audio Vault. Max Kerman from the Arkells. March 5th, 2009. Hello. Hello, is this Max from the Arkells? Yes, it is. Hello, Max. This is Casey from Power 97 in Winnipeg. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing okay. How about you? Um, uh, well, I'm in uh, Calgary right now. How's the uh, tour with our home uh, hometown boys, Awaken Eyes? Yeah, we've had a, a ton of fun. Uh, the show's been great. It's been a, a really, really fun tour. You guys have a late night? You sound like you're half dead. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we had a, we actually kind of a really late night. Sorry, I'll, I'll get my, uh, oh, my voice uh, in together. So let me just get a glass of water here, and I'll be ready to go. Okay? Sure. Do this. <laughs> All right. Relatively new band, I guess, at least for Winnipeg. This is kind of an introduction to the Arkells. How long have you guys been together? I guess early 2007, uh, late 2006, I guess, is when we all came together. And you, you met in school? Is it at university? Yeah, we, we all met in Hamilton, uh, kind of like through the, the local music scene. Uh, you know, there's a lot of great musicians and, you know, a lot of inspirational stuff uh, going on in Hamilton. How did you get hooked up with uh, Jeremy Taggart? I saw that uh, the Oh the Boss is coming video. It's pretty. It's a uh, great video. How did you meet him? Well, uh, we're all fans of uh, Taggart. Uh, he has a pretty funny podcast uh, that he has, that he has called Taggart's Take, and uh, we kind of got to know him through music. Uh, Tim, our drummer, you know, he's he's been a big fan of Jeremy's for a, a while, and uh, yeah, Jeremy's been really uh, supportive of our uh, music since the beginning, actually. So uh, we, we thought he'd be the perfect guy to, to play the boss. To play the boss, yeah. That's a funny moment. He just kind of leans forward and taps on the table. He, he, play, <laughs> he, he plays a very good uh, Dickardly boss. No, he, he nailed it. We're, we're trying to think well, when we can get him in for our next music video. <laughs> I was listening to the interview you guys did with uh, Alan Cross a while back on Explore Music. The name of the album, Jackson Square, that's actually a, a mall that most of you guys ended up working in when you were younger? Yeah, it's a mall uh, right downtown in Hamilton, and uh, yeah, Mike uh, Mike's had a job there, and you know, we've all taken dates there, and it's kind of right in the center of the city in Hamilton, and it's uh, yeah, all the clubs uh, that we uh, grew up playing in, uh, we've had our first shows, and they're all kind of within a, a few blocks of the mall, and um, I work now, I work I work right around the corner from the mall, so it's kind of the backdrop for a lot of the themes and a lot of the stories on the album. There seems to be a lot about going to work and, and, and day-to-day life kind of thing. Where, where, do you, where do you work now to, to make ends meet? Oh, I just, uh, I work in the office. I just file things. I, I, I alphabetize uh, files all day long. <laughs> so do you, do you have a boss that's uh, a pain in the ass? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, actually, my boss now is uh, pretty good, but... Uh, the song, uh, the other boss company was written while I was working in Hamilton as a, as a server. And, uh, what I would do, um, was I'd have a little piece of paper, uh, you know, a little pad of paper that I was supposed to be writing down food orders for, but I'd be writing down lyrics for, for song ideas. <laughs> and, uh, maybe that's why the job didn't work out so good, because I wasn't paying close enough attention to the customers. But, uh, that's the song kind of takes place, uh, at, uh, so y- years of uh, working for the man has fueled the uh, the the debut record. Yeah, I, I'd say so. <laughs> What's next for you guys after this tour? We are driving back to Ontario and doing a few Canadian Music Week shows, and then we have about three days off, and we drive right to uh, Texas for South by Southwest Music Festival. And uh, we have never been outside of Canada, so we're we're pretty excited about that. And uh, and we are uh, flying across the pond to the UK in May for uh, for a festival there. So, uh, yeah, we're getting to a lot of things that we haven't had a chance to do before. So we're pretty excited about the next couple of months. We're playing with the hip as well in uh, July. You guys have never traveled out outside Canada, so this is like a whole new world to you. Yeah, no, I mean, we've, we've uh, like, toured the country like four times now. So, yeah, we're, we're excited to... Uh, so now I take the Trans Canada Highway this time. <laughs> well, Max, we're looking forward to seeing the Arkells with the Waking Eyes this Saturday at the Pyramid. Thanks so much for coming on the Rock Report. Oh, thank you.
Thanks for all the support. We really appreciate it. All the interviews you want on iTunes and at Power97.com. Casey's Audio Vaults. Casey Norman is Power97's music director and can be heard every weekday from 2 till 6 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Power 97 is Winnipeg's best rock.